Hey, hey, okay. Cujo. Hey, everyone, we're back. Ew. <laughs> Actually, it's another thing. Oh, just... it's saved. Okay, we're, we're back. Hi, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. It's save over. Wait, okay. Wait. It did a quick save, I guess. Yeah. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? I hope we walked out the city's Not decimated. And then the Resident Evil <laughs> music <laughs> plays. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <let's> go. <laughs> Jill accidentally shoots you in the head because she thinks you're a zombie. You know, that's how the uh, um, Night of the Living Dead ends. Aww. One of the earliest horror movies ever. And the black man survives until the very end until he's shot by some white cops. Aww. It's like foreshadowing of today's society. Yay. Sorry if that ruined it for anyone because it definitely is not going to get covered in the episode since we started talking about it afterwards. Yay. Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, everybody. <laughs> I already said that. Also, on a side note, you guys may not realize this. Oh my god, why can't I leave? Um, but we talk a lot so in between, like during the cutscenes, but I strip it out so you don't have to deal with us ruining everything for you. I promise you it's pretty much just button dick jokes, so. All from Tony. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. pretty much. Yeah. And Cujo burping, you miss a lot of that. No. I can't help. It. <laughs> Actually, you can. Actually, you're a dick. Well, well. So. Actually, to get back into this, this is an important moment because... Yes. All right, we're playing it. Now, now that Saray has um, bonded, become the vessel, right? Right. Um, now he can actually <coughs> sense malevolence. Malevolence. Oh, malevolence. Um, and now, he, now we're actually going to see, like, remember how this world was very, like, confetti-filled oh, and very no. happy? Now we actually get to see the evil that is... And look, there's like ashes, or what my toilet looks like after I flushed one too many times. Wouldn't your toilet just look cleaner after flushing one too many so, times? so, but there's just so much <laughs> shit baglogged in it. Baglog. Backlog. <laughs> Shut up. So we're following her now. I always her, hate this in a game yeah. where they're like, follow me! I'm gonna walk at normal human speeds. Yeah. Or slower than that. Now at the same time, like, it's always weird when they're just like... <gasps> I fucking sprinting as yeah. fast as possible. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Like the dog. Yeah, right. It's like, well, it makes a little bit more sense for a dog, right? Because the dog is a dogs dog? are are often like zero or everything. Um, Make a shirt that, that says that. zero or everything. Yeah, no, I'm not. I meant exactly what I said. Is she gonna face through? Is she gonna face? Yep. Yeah, and. And I couldn't enter the door ahead of time. I love it when games are like, okay, you know where you're going, you can just run ahead and enter the door, and then it'll teleport. <laughs> also, I couldn't move until she disappeared off screen, which is a little weird. Oh, really? Oh, I was like, really Chris annoying. Yeah. I don't like that. That's a thing. It's, like, it's not bad. It's just weird. Ooh, a staff. Yeah. Also, okay. we haven't seen one of these yet, but treasure chests are locked yeah. so we have to find a silver key to open these um, and these I think this is one of those things that help um, the thing the, of fable uh, in fable it was you had to have a certain amount of silver keys in order to unlock it, it once we find one it's okay. Um, okay also this is just bad why is this an area yeah right there's mm. literally nothing in there um, like Later on, there's a guy that's, like, working on the wall over there, but it's one of those basic text conversations. So it's like, maybe this is something far, far down the line, but it's... I don't know. It's bad level design is ultimately what it comes to. It's, like, it's pretty inconsequential because it only happens in those few small moments. Right. But it's, like, it just feels unpolished is, is kind of what it comes to. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? 
you've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait, if I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> it's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about Calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Okay, so now that we're at a point that's not a cutscene. <laughs> last episode, Chris brought up how every Tales game has a huge twist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put mine out there right now. If this is true, I'm going to do a dance. Oh. I'm going to make a little love, and I'm going to get down is tonight. It, is it a theory? Yes, it's a theory. It's kind of far-fetched, but it has to be. Like... I mean, this game is this game is all about having kind of those far-fetched right. ideas, right? Like, I have a dozen theories in my playthrough right now, and I'm like, any of them are feasible because the twist is... Like, we know there's going to oh, be a twist. Oh, there's another goddamn cutscene! Just, just finish your thought. Right. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I am calling that Gramps has something to do with the evil. You think so? That he has something in the creation. Do you think or it's something? Do you think it's because he's so like remote from everything? He's so remote, and you hear about how like these places aren't blessed, but he's like, oh, in my place it is blessed by Gramps, and everything's peaceful there. So what if Gramps chooses what gets the peace and like serves everything up to the Lord of Calamity? That's an interesting theory. Super far fetched. If it happens, I will I will poop my pants. I, I think you will get your answer as we get... Mm, it's hard to tell because this game is so goddamn long, but... It won't be very long till you get your answer, I think. It's basically what I'm thinking. Oh, for my theory? Yes. Oh, damn. Let's see where this is going, then. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. 
So wait. So this is that's actually pretty important too. So we know that uh, Lila has taken an oath that gives her sort of a um, a set of rules that she has to follow, right, in order for her to be a um, a seraph and what lord? Yeah. Um, and we're gonna see this as we can continue to play too. Um, but like. I don't agree with their delivery of her, like, preventing herself I, from breaking. I actually it. think it's really funny. Have you seen it? She's already at several points. Oh, she points. just did it? Yeah, exactly, where she's she gets kind of, like, airheaded and, like... I actually really think that's funny. It, it, it lends itself to the idea of her being like, I, the, the, that blade of grass is longer than the other ones, right? Like, I, it's, it, I think it's interesting. It's, I but think it's, it's cool. It's a complete non-sequitur. I, I, yeah, the non-sequitur is a little though, weird. She Speaking of non-sequiturs... But, no, but okay, before we, before we end that, it's like, why doesn't damn. she just say, I can't talk about it? Right, exactly. It's not... Oh, look at that to just be like, sorry, dude, breaking the oath. Sorry, do that. bro. I think, I think it's more from the writer's standpoint. Mikleo has his sort of like, you know, uh, like cutting jokes he makes about Saray. Saray is airheaded and doesn't really know how the hell the world works. And up until this point, we haven't really seen much from Lil Lila. Lila. So it's like, it's her little comedic thing. Everybody's got to have their little comedic quirk in these games, and that's maybe just hers. I mean, yeah, you're all right. Also, that's, also that's exactly remember, what it is, If right? she's been around for all the other Seraph, don't you think she'd be a little, uh, anyway? Uh, it depends on what happened to them. Honestly. Exactly. So if if something weird happened to them and it sort of had backlash on her, so she's gonna be a little eh, up here. I guess too. it's fair. It's just maybe if she had other things to help reinforce that then. I, I think is, is kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah. Obviously, it's too soon to see a lot of that, but she presents herself so formal and so like, I am the Seraphim Lord. I have given you my power, like being very like yes. proper about it. And then she's like, oh, what a nice butterfly. It's like you establish this character as someone that's very like very authoritative and then you make them ditzy. It just, it doesn't feel right. Mm. Wait, you know how you said you hated feathers? I think he's getting his coat. If I could recall. Yep, there's more feathers. Bam, feathers, bitch. Not bad. We should have a feather count, so that is what, like, uh, I think he's six, up to six one, now. Two, three, four, six feathers. Five. And his boots? Five. Oh, no, six. Two, yeah. two on his ears, two on the one glove, one on the sword, two on his chest. Oh. I count seven so far. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just a minute, Mikleo. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people, when I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes, my heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. 
You bet. I'll come back and see us again, Kind Shepherd. Yeah, I bet you will too. All right. Well, certain developments have taken place, and we now have our full Shepherd outfit. Yeah. Woo, with all the feathers. They're so flowy. Look at them physics <laughs> effects on my coat. Anyway, flowy. that's all for this episode of Game Devs Play Games. Definitely tune in because we will have a lot more on the way. See you in the archives. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What like else? Campbell's or whatever. Campbell's? I said, is it Campbell's? <laughs> I heard camels if that's anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that was an audio. <laughs>